Am I the a-hole for wearing jeans and a top at my sister's wedding? This post is going nuts on the am I the a-hole subreddit. I think it had like 7,000 comments. I, 19 female, have a more masculine style. I'm a straight cis woman, by the way, so before anyone brings up my sexuality or gender, so let's get this out of the way. I simply dress more masculine and casual. I've never I never liked doing my hair or my makeup and I was never into that feminine stuff. Yeah, but it's your sister's wedding. It's not really a day to think about yourself. My sister got married last week and ever since her wedding planning started taking place, I've been told that I should dress appropriately for the wedding. They expected me to make my hair or makeup, but this is just not for me. I'm not like that at all and I don't think I should change change the way I am for a wedding. My mum kept telling me to at least wear something nice even if it's not a dress. But honestly, I didn't feel comfortable with anything. I tried on some suits, etc. And while they did look nice, this is not my style at all. I mostly wear jeans and sweats, so I decided to simply wear a more expensive and stylish pair of jeans that I own with a blue top that is not casual but it's not formal either. But it's the best I could do so I'd not be 100% casual, but also feel comfortable. At first, I was denied entrance at the venue because the venue is black tie only. Oh, come on. But my sister tried to convince the owner to let this go this once because I'm her sister. My sister barely spoke to me or even acknowledged me all night. After the wedding, my parents kept telling me how how immature I was about the whole thing and that I owe my sister an apology. I thought that was going to the extremes, making such a big deal out of some outfits. I called my sister trying to talk it out and I said that we should really let this go. My sister then started ranting about how on her wedding day she had to stress about convincing the owner of the venue to let me in because I couldn't follow one simple and common rule. She she said that me proving how different I am was more important than making a small compromise and wearing a suit at least. I explained how it's such a stupid argument because why would I have to wear a suit and how shallow she is for caring so much about appearances and outfits and that her wedding should be special to her beyond the sparkles and the expensive hair and makeup. Wow. She told me I'm an a-hole because just because something isn't important to me doesn't mean that it can't be important to her. And she said that she regrets wasting her time trying to talk to the venue owner because I clearly did not deserve it and I wanted to seem like I'm better and more different than her. Yeah, um, it doesn't seem like that was the time to do this. Surely you can put all of this aside for one day, especially a family member's wedding. Wow, this is gonna be a fun video. Welcome back guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today and I hope you're ready to read some more Not Like The Other Girls. It's such a fun subreddit. It reminds me of when I was younger. You know, like we all sort of go through this phase, I feel like. Like I'm different, I need to prove to everybody else around me that I'm different. <laughs> we are not the same. And as always, thank you for all your support guys, it means the world to me. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. So basically, I feel like everyone in Orlando is exactly the same, especially the girls. They're all just carbon copies of each other. Putting rainbow streaks in my hair and doing CrossFit are the only two things that I feel make me unique and help me stand out from the monotony. Oh, that's not good. It's always been really important to me to feel different. When I saw your post about you getting into CrossFit, 
date. And I also noticed the blue in your hair. My heart sank. It's not that you're not allowed to do those things. It's just that I feel it reduces my individuality. The things that make me me, you know? I'm not really sure why I'm writing this or what I want to happen as a result. But I feel like we've known each other long enough to have this conversation, right? Oh no, don't wrap up your entire personality in something like that. Doing crossfit and dyeing your hair? And yeah, are you just gonna get angry at anybody who does crossfit or dyes their hair? Like, this is my thing, you're not allowed to do it. Yeah, I feel bad about this one. Oh, it's a little bit sad. You're fighting demons. I'm, you know, watching them. <laughs> we are not the same. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're not the same. I like the ones that are obviously sarcastic. They're a nice break from the serious ones. Normie girls, impulse buying clothes and makeup. Me, impulse buying an S9 Bitcoin miner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and the top comment is somebody, like, proposing. <laughs> Marry me now. I love impulse buying clothes, though. I do it all the time. And I don't want to feel bad about that. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with being a normie, okay? Also, you're not not a normie just because you buy a Bitcoin miner. You know, like, that's not something that makes you a different person. <laughs> Nor should it. She was a wild one, always stomping on eggshells that everyone else tiptoed on. Oh, no, I feel bad. I can't say anything bad about this because it's hanging in somebody's house. And also, it's not that bad. Like, I'm not gonna hang it on my wall, but if somebody else wants to, that's okay. How people sleep on the bus. Others. Me. I don't get it. <laughs> Are they saying that one is better than the other? Or worse than the other? I don't even really know what the difference is. Like, one is more glamorous and one isn't? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you're so cute when you sleep. <laughs> you should see me when I sleep. I'm a girl and I have male friends. And I don't care what society thinks about me. Some peeps just don't get it. Like, yeah, cool, that's awesome. More power to ya. But that is so not like the other girly. When you're strolling through Forever 21 looking alternative AF with Dan and Phil on your shirt, listening to Be More Chill, trying to figure out how anyone could want to wear most of this stuff while being drawn to the boys section. Yeah, this one is like going in a time machine. <laughs> like I feel like a lot of people watching right now are gonna be able to relate to this. I definitely can. I feel like everybody goes through this. Like this is what I was talking about at the start of the video. This post is dedicated to everyone who said women can't have egg salad sandwiches for lunch. Who said that? <laughs> Did anybody say that? I've never heard that in my entire life. Is that a thing? No egg salad sandwiches for women, especially for lunch. <laughs> if you want it for breakfast or dinner, go for it. I'm not like the other girls. I get excited about hot wings and pizza, not chocolates and flowers. Me too. Me too. But you both also get excited for chocolate and flowers. Yeah, almost like you could do both of these things. No, it's either you like hot wings and pizza or it's chocolate and flowers. No in between. You are not allowed to like all of these <laughs> or that would mean that you're like me but also not like me at the same time. This doesn't make you different, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And also, it's not meant to make you different. You know, like what type of food you eat or what type of things you get excited over. You know, like they're making it sound like if you like one thing, in this case hot wings and pizza, then you're a completely different person than somebody who likes chocolate and flowers. When in reality, that's not how that works. <laughs> my 17 year old daughter is so my kid. She and her friend got bored at prom so they went to Barnes and Noble in their gowns and bought novels. Yeah, to be fair, that's probably more fun. <laughs> like, I don't really have anything against this. Wow.
Wow, I think I'm realizing that I'm a little bit like this. <laughs> no, I think it's totally normal. I feel like most people have been through something like this. Where it gets bad though is when people try and put other people down in the process because they want to feel better and different and superior. And that's not good. When my mum wants me to have friends, but everyone around here smokes and drinks, will yell if there's a lizard, is afraid to get a piece of dirt on them, hates country music, has daddy's money buying everything they have, wears bras or shirts, don't have respect for themselves or anyone else. Yeah, like the top comment says, will yell if there's a lizard is so weirdly specific. But yeah, they say at the bottom there, they don't have respect for themselves or anyone else. But they're saying that while they're disrespecting everybody there, you know, like they can't all be the same. <laughs> it's like nice guys and women, you know, assuming that they're all the same. Normal teenage girl problems versus my problems. My boyfriend dumped me. My internet isn't working. I'm out of makeup. I'm out of Nutella. My mum won't let me go to the mall. Oh, I stepped on a Lego. <laughs> and I don't really see the point of this. Are you saying that your problems are different? Or that there's something wrong with the normal teenage girl problems? These are so vague, it's almost annoying. Some girls. I have nothing to wear. Me. I have nothing to read. Yeah, but they're not saying that they're completely different to everybody. These are so confusing because you don't know their intent when they posted it. So you don't know what they want you to think. You know, like, how are we meant to interpret this? You like to read? That's very good. <laughs> I like to read as well. On my way home from work and some guy in Tesco's asked me to fix the wheel on his electric scooter. First of all, that doesn't seem very likely. They came up to you and asked you to fix their wheel? Really? And also, none of those tools are gonna be very good in fixing a wheel. <laughs> like, there's literally pliers, a Stanley knife, and just more pliers. Okay, I'm going to cut your wheel off with my wire cutters. How most people start their day. Happy morning playlist. How I start my day. Murder podcast. <laughs> yeah, I think that's enough and not like the other girls for today. Let's read a couple of wholesome memes. The wholesome memes community. Me going through some tough times. Oh, that's really sweet. And it's so nice that people can find that. You know, that's the really beautiful part about the internet. No, like this is a perfect example of this YouTube channel. I'm talking into your speakers right now. And that's a really awesome. Like, we're basically friends. <laughs> like, we're just hanging out all the time. I wish I didn't always envy others. I might achieve more than them. They might always be better than me. The important thing is, did I become a better me? Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> this video got so cute so fast. What are you celebrating? Asked Tiny Dragon. Getting rained on, said Big Panda. With you. Oh, <laughs> I love these comics. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. That was so fun, and I hope you had a fun time. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day today goes to Yef. When I see a new Vinci video, I'm like the rabbit in the last wholesome meme. I'm all ears. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That genuinely means a lot to me. Thank you. It means a lot to me the most because I love making these videos. It's really gratifying that people enjoy watching them as well. It's really awesome. And yeah, on that note, have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.